another episode. We're here in Nambucca. We're staying for a total of four nights. We're staying two at the Foreshore Caravan Park and we're staying two at Reflections. Um, the reason that I did that is because there's four in total here in Nambucca and I wasn't sure what they'd be like. So my neighbor Pete, he has a holiday home here in Nambucca and he recommended the Foreshore Caravan Park. Um, and I'm a Reflections member, so I wanted to try out the Reflections as well. Um, there is White Albatross, which um, I really wanted to try, but I took Pete's word and tried out the Foreshore Caravan Park. Um, it's a very, very small park, very quiet. Um, the amenities are very old. It's sort of more like your old school um, caravan park. Not really my type of caravan park, but still it's in a good location. It's only 15 minutes walk to Woolworths. Um, there's a fish co-op next door um, and there's cafes and an RSL only 15 minutes as well. So it's not too bad location wise. Um, so yeah. It would be really, really good if you're into fishing, kayaking, boating and things like that because the river runs um, directly across the caravan park so you've got direct access to the water. So yeah, I'll show you around Nambucca, the Foreshore Caravan Park and Reflections. Step into the world outside The future never looks so bright Can't you hear it calling us? Let go Let's go Dive into the deep blue sky Come with me to paradise Can't you hear it calling us? weapon in sheer beauty so stoked gone are the days of ripping my arms off walking from Coles or Woolies look at that there's $130 worth of food in there and we stopped in at Davis seafood which is just next door and I got a salmon fillet a barramundi fillet and some prawns they look really really nice there so make sure you stop in and have a look but look at her, isn't she a beast, hey? Welcome to Reflections Nambucca. So we checked out the Foreshore Caravan Park and we're staying here for two nights. Um, had our first night here and it's beautiful here. You're surrounded by the bushland. It's sort of got like a tropical vibe with heaps of bird life and all of that. So it's really beautiful here. Um, it's not a level caravan park, it's sort of um, in stages so you've got one two three four down to the bottom so each um, sort of level is sort of you know all the sites are level some are slabs some are grass so I was meant to be staying on 25 but we'll do for rain today so I swapped for 22 super happy it's double slabbed um, level everything like that and it's really close to the amenities so I recommend Fern Road if you can get it because the amenities block the laundry and all of that um, are just on this level makes it super easy 
you've got reception up here and to get to the beach you can either take a little beach access which I haven't done yet down here or you can go past reception down a road and the beach is maybe five minutes it's really nice down there all along here you've got like the cliff face overlooking uh, the beach and heaps and heaps of little lookouts it's really really beautiful um, down here you've got this uh, place called the weather shed so it's a cute little um, sitting area where it's got like a barbecue and it's got like a wood fire with some comfy lounges and it overlooks like this little green space here so I reckon that would be really good if you have kids that you can have a few bevies here and watch your kids play and whatnot down here. Um, yeah I would recommend staying here over the foreshore. The foreshore caravan park is really good for you know if you want to um, go to the cafes and that down there along the uh, river or walk to Woolies and things like that. This is on obviously the hill so it makes it a little bit less accessible to get to like town and things like that. I would recommend staying at Reflections or White Albatross. White Albatross is on like the sea level, it's got the pool and all of that sort of stuff but this is super beautiful for beach views and all of that. Yeah.